The overall goal of this procedure is to measure cognitive flexibility as mediated by the prefrontal cortex in a mouse model. This is accomplished by first teaching a test mouse to dig a small pot to retrieve a food reward. In the second step, the buried food reward is associated with a specific contextual cue such that the mouse can correctly locate and retrieve the reward in eight consecutive trials without error. Next, through a series of cue reward pairing changes within the relevant dimension, the mouse learns to pay attention to the relevant dimension of the cue while ignoring the irrelevant dimension to locate and retrieve the reward. In the final step, the cue reward pairing is switched so that the previously irrelevant dimension is now relevant to facilitate successful location and retrieval of the reward. Ultimately, an increase in the mean number of trials to reach the criterion between the experimental groups at the reversal stages is interpreted as cognitive inflexibility. Although this method can provide insight into the basic neuroscience of cognitive function mediated by the prefrontal cortex, it can also be applied to many other model systems such as transgenic or chronic disease models with the benefit of excellent translational validity. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because the mice have not been adequately habituated or trained prior to the onset of testing. Demonstrating the procedure will be Jillian Heisler, a recent PhD graduate from my laboratory, assisted by Lainey Reedus and Juan Morales, both research assistants in the lab. Before beginning the food restriction,